Hello and welcome to another World Tanks video. In this one I'm in my BK4502P House A and this is a strange tank really. It's like a... It's hard to describe really. It's very unique in how you, have, in how you play it. But the tank really really seems to suit both uh, me and Kevin as we both do very well with it. Um, and the Spitfire too, for that matter. Um, this thing feels like a, like a mix between a King Tiger and a Panther 2. That's probably the best way I can describe it. But the playstyle, you can't play it like either of them. You have to play it in a very specific way. Uh, however, in this one, I'm playing it more like a traditional heavy tank with the ounce of medium thrown in. Uh, the thing is, this tank's armor, while it doesn't look as good on paper, it is, it can be very good. Now you can see me seeing the T20 that I come through the middle and everyone else just ignoring him. Except that AMX uh, 100, uh, which you will be seeing quite a lot of in this video, as uh, and him are basically looking to save this game. I smash ram into that guy, I'm a German heavy steel tank, so I'm going to do some serious damage uh, when running into things. Because these things are heavy. Uh, this thing doesn't have any gun depression, so I have to back off quite a bit before I can shoot down on it. And now you can see there's a ton of stuff coming through the middle here. And no one went to a death valley where I usually go because I decided to, you know what I'm going to do a little bit different. But uh, yeah. When I don't go there, the team usually falls apart it seems. But we're going to try and do something about it now, aren't we? Now you can see the angle I have here. It's uh, about 30 degrees off the wall. Which means that they are hitting my track, after track, after track. And, like, this is like a form of side scraping, it's just not a full form of it, this is like a hybrid. Uh, because I'm angling... I'm angling like a side scraping, but I'm also not standing as if you were to be side scraping because you would be standing significantly forward instead of having them come to you. You would be standing like where I am now, but then pointing 90 degrees, which would mean the M103 would be able to shoot me in the sides, while at the present he's just bouncing off my sides. Now I contemplate shooting him, but I decided to uh, finish off the IS is a higher priority, because Russian guns hurt when they do damage. They don't often always do because I'm not saying that they the penetration. But when they do it generally out. Now there's two ice trees here and the artillery is basically screwed. Oh no, he managed to survive. <laughs> French artillery is very fast. When they hit you, they actually do surprising amounts of damage. In any case, what we are trying to do now is basically keep the base uh, from not being capped too much so that uh, our guys can cap. And the MX100, uh, which I first thought was driving away, uh, he's actually going in flanking now, which is very nice to see uh, someone playing uh, like a team. Which is very good, so I was just trying to keep the guns pointed this way while he goes around. Uh, then it turns out the other ice tree has joined that spot as well. I probably wait a little bit too long with going out there. I try to uh, ram that guy so that he can't get a shot of on that guy, but. Uh, Luckily our eyes you, I should save him. Now, 
may wonder, I mean, how, how do all those guys not manage to kill me or the AMX 100? Uh, well, how you counter this is by not allowing the one who's uh, taking most of the shots with uh, the fragile French one hiding behind you just take all the shots uh, into a well angled side uh, so what, all of this, due to the heavy number advantage they should have just rushed me I would have been dead I can angle from one location I can't angle if people are standing all around me because I can only keep my angle to one point so if all of those would have rushed they would have won no question about that now as you get one heavy hit off on the French tank over there it's an MX-45 so it's it doesn't have that much of damage but I Tiger P just go and ram him instead And somehow, the MX-45 isn't doing any damage to the ICU, so he may have the crap gun. And I can't get through there. They managed to do damage to the ICU, but by now the ICU have reloaded. So it's, it was very nice to see someone in a random match uh, play with you like if you we were playing in platoons. It was very nice and refreshing to see that. So well done to the MX100 and I hope maybe you can learn a little bit from the angling and how to use German tanks because situations like these they are very very powerful. Hope you have enjoyed, I will see you next time.